Last year's Oscars were the most dramatic in recent memory, and the fallout is still being felt. Only a week ago, Chris Rock's live comedy special, the first time he spoke at length about the moment Will Smith let him on stage, broke records for Netflix. But the story gets more and more exciting. Last year, Will Smith hits Chris Rock at the Oscars. After a year, Chris Rock writes a comeback through a comedy special. Then, next thing you know, Jimmy Kimmel is making jokes all over the act. That's exactly what happened in this Rock Smith fiasco. But what were the words that the veteran talk show host said? That's what we're finding out in this video. But of course, before I spill anything, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates and videos like this. Now, let's dive in. You didn't think Jimmy Kimmel would let the 2023 Oscars go by without a slap joke, would you? This year's Oscar host opened the show with a witty monologue that included quips about Nicole Kidman's oft-parodied AMC commercial and Tom Cruise's Scientology connection. But he also went heavy on zingers about the shocking moment from the 2022 Oscars, in which Will Smith walked onto the stage and slapped presenter Chris Rock for joking about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Jimmy Kimmel hosted the Oscars for a third time and couldn't help but reference last year's headline-making ceremony. If anything unpredictable or violent happens during the ceremony, just do what you did last year. Nothing, the comedian and late-night host said during his monologue, referencing Will Smith slapping Chris Rock on stage at the 94th Academy Awards in 2022. Jimmy mentioned the incident in his trailer for the year's show, as well as teeing up the telecast earlier this week. Kimmel joked that if anything like that happened again this year, attendees should sit there and do absolutely nothing, maybe even give the assailant a hug. Kimmel also joked that this year, there are strict policies in place, in case of another physical outburst. Give me a second, I'll adjust my danger zone here, was Jimmy Kimmel's first line. We know this is a special night for you. We want you to have fun. We want you to feel safe. And most importantly, we want me to feel safe. Kimmel, 55, began the award ceremony. After a riff about diversity, Kimmel added, five Irish actors are nominated tonight, which means the chances of another fight on stage went way up. Warming to the theme, he promised the audience, we want you to have fun, we want you to be safe, and most importantly, we want me to be safe. If anyone commits an act of violence anytime during this show, you will be presented the Oscar for Best Actor and be permitted to give a 19-minute long speech. If anyone in this theater commits an act of violence at any point during the show, you will be awarded the Oscar for Best Actor. <laughs> Kimmel got in another dig when mentioning the number of Irish actors in the room, saying that the odds for another fight on stage just went way up. There are a few of my friends are going to have to get through first, he said, before shouting out some star's tough characters, including Pedro Pascal's titular Mandalorian character, Michael Yeo's Evelyn Wang from Everything Everywhere All at Once, and Michael B. Jordan's Adonis Creed from Creed. He also referenced Smith's 1997 hit song, saying anybody who wanted to get jiggy with it would have have to go through a gauntlet of bodyguards composed of famous audience members. He finished by saying that if someone felt tempted to get on stage and slap him, they would have the celebrity audience to contend with. You're going to have to get through the heavyweight champ, Adonis Creed. You're going to have to battle with Michelle Yeoh before you get to me. You're going to have to tangle with Spider-Man. You're going to have to tangle with Fable-Man. And then you're going to have to go through my right-hand man, Guillermo, if you want to get up to this stage. The camera cut away from director Guillermo del Toro to the other Guillermo, Kimmel's late-night TV show sidekick. I know he's cute, but if you even so much as wave at me, he'll beat the Lydia tar out of you. Kimmel joked before concluding his monologue and starting the ceremony. Kimmel doesn't restrict his slap jokes just to the monologue. The host also sees the opportunity to bring up the incident ahead of the best documentary feature category, saying he hoped it would go off without a hitch, referencing to the 2005 romantic comedy in which Smith starred, playing the title role, Kimmel said, hopefully it goes off without a hitch, or without hitch. Put your heads together and then keep them to yourself for Riz Ahmed and Questlove. And before giving out the award for documentary short, this point in the show kind of makes you miss the slapping a bit, right? 
And at the close of the show, after everything everywhere all at once won Best Picture, Kimmel threw in one last jab. Great work, Crisis Team, he joked, wrapping up the broadcast. Finally, he started to walk off stage, and the credits started to roll. A board was seen with the words, Number of Oscar Telecasts Without Incident, 001. Following Smith's outburst in 2022, the actor went on to win Best Actor for King Richard and deliver an emotional speech, though did not address rock. He has since apologized to the comedian and resigned from being a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. The Academy also banned him from attending its events for 10 years. However, even after a year, Chris Rock still might not be ready to forgive the legendary actor. Chris Rock joked about the controversial Will Smith Oscar moment nearly one year later in his new comedy special. On March 4th, the comedian performed Netflix's first ever live broadcast. A comedy special titled Chris Rock Selective Outrage from the Hippodrome Theatre in Baltimore. At one point in the show, Rock, 58, addressed the incident when Smith, 54, hit him on stage at last year's Academy Awards ceremony on March 27, 2022. After making a joke about his wife Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved head while presenting an award that night, anyone who says words hurt has never been punched in the face. He said early in the set, saying he'll try not to trigger anyone. Then, later Rock joked about Snoop Dogg doing commercials, assuring, I love Snoop. I'm not dissing Snoop. Before adding a reference to Smith without naming him, the last thing I need is another mad rapper, right? As the crowd applauded, he then added, no, back to the show, continuing by doing a bit about Meghan Markle. Near the end of the show, Rock addressed the Oscars more in depth, saying, he's not a victim, baby. You'll never see me on Oprah or Gail crying. You will never see it. Never gonna happen. He joked that he got smacked by Shook Smith. He also pointed out Smith's size difference compared to himself. Rock also went on to skewer Smith over the headline-making entanglement drama he had with wife Jada and the Red Table Talk episode they did together. However, news reports are saying that what we have seen in selective outrage might have not been all parts of it. And there is still a more upsetting joke we might have not witnessed. According to reports, a joke about Will Smith in Rock's Netflix special Chris Rock's Selective Outrage was edited out after the comedian messed it up during the live show. Years ago, his wife said, I should quit the Oscars. I shouldn't host because her man didn't get a nomination for emancipation. Rock said during Netflix's first ever global live streaming event, the comedian meant to refer to the 2015 sports drama Concussion, a film based on the true story of neuropathologist Dr. Bennett O'Malu, played by Smith, who was the first to discover CTE, a football-related brain trauma. Rock went on and continued the joke correctly. She started this. She said that me, a beep-grown man, should quit his job because my husband didn't get nominated for concussion. This part of the special has now been edited out, and a source told The Hollywood Reporter that Rock is aware of the edit and worked with Netflix on the final cut that is now available to people streaming. Meanwhile, it was reported that Smith was left embarrassed and hurt over Rock's comments made in the special. What can you say about all this slap fiasco? One thing's for sure, though, it ain't ending soon. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.